Kathy Jane Pearce has lived the high life, but what a fall from grace for the former beauty queen. Once a rich lister, then declared bankrupt. She's now turned her attention to the wellness industry. But as we've learnt, where Kathy goes, trouble can follow. I'm from Soakhouse Adelaide. Of course I have a shower before an onsen. <laughs> hey Kathy. Hi, Steve Marshall from The Current Affair. How are you? She needs to be stopped. She she can't keep doing this. Please, come and have a chat. This is your floor, Cathy. I would love it. Well, I don't trust anything she says. You can contact me. Yes, okay. I am contacting you now, Cathy. Cathy Jane Pearce. Now, Cathy Jane Britton had it all. A mansion, a sports car, and a spot on the young BRW rich list. A former beauty pageant queen turned property empire queen. Buy real estate trash and turn it into cash. Then it all turned ugly. Is it I attract trouble or is that trouble attracts me? After leaving property investors high and dry in the early 2000s, Kathy fronted up to a current affair. The start of this I'm happy to talk. I'm happy Kathy. to talk. But these are ambush questions. We're from Soakhouse Adelaide. Of course we believe in lifestyle balance. 16 and years I'm later, Kathy's reinvented herself as the owner of a communal bathhouse business in this Adelaide industrial estate. We're from Soakhouse Adelaide. Of course I get my fortnightly massages. The Soakhouse is supposed to be a place to relax and rejuvenate. Of course I have a nice bath for my mental health. Instead, practitioners who worked there are blowing up like breath coach Pedro. I think she needs like professional help, um, but I can't get caught up in her mess. Pedro claims Kathy owes him money for the classes he taught at the Soak House. Are you the only one in your position? No. no. As far as I know, there's at least seven people. But the Soak House gate is padlocked shut and Kathy doesn't have a key. Not even some high wire hijinks can get her in. Kathy's been locked out because of a nasty dispute over unpaid rent and a bond. Steve Marsh from A Current Affair. Kathy, I hear you're in a bit of hot water over your soak house. Would you like to speak about the issues at hand? Yeah. Oh, look, I'm not in town for that much longer. What are, Kathy, do you owe people money? Kathy? You do not? Please, come and have a chat. This is your floor, Kathy. I would love it. Oh, please. Come. Yes, I am contacting you now, Kathy. Yes. Turns out Kathy did want to chat after all. Later, agreeing to a phone interview. Hello. Kathy, is that you? Kathy claims she's been locked out of the soak house because she dobbed in her landlord, who also owns the property next door, for stealing her power. This is not a story of Kathy Jane again. It is not. It is Kathy Jane succeeds at what she's doing and um, unfortunately it shone a light on illegal behaviour next door with the electrical. Um, that's why they locked us out. So it's been disconnected a long time ago. Daryl and his wife Heather sold the soak house to Kathy last year. They say the power issue with the landlord was sorted out well before Kathy moved in. It was disconnected before even Kathy actually went into the business. We've got the paperwork. We got it disconnected. Kathy paid Daryl and Heather thirty thousand dollars for the soak house, but the couple claim Kathy hasn't paid a ten thousand dollar lease bond to the bank, which would then trigger the bank to release their ten thousand dollar lease bond back to them. It matters a lot because that money there is for my wife's medical money because she is unwell at the moment. They didn't get refunded their bond, as I understand it, because um, they left the place. Well, it was disgusting, and I've got a condition report on that. The blue over the soak house has certainly muddied the waters. Uh, Daryl kept coming to us, stalking us, and we had to get him restrained, not only by the police, because he kept saying that we owe him this money. Daryl denies the accusation. Don't work with her. Don't even... Don't even answer phones, don't even see it. I have an apology to make. The next day, Kathy took to social media with some new info. So my apology goes out to the previous owners, um, who, whom I thought 
was involved in all of this, but it turns out through some investigation of, of some really good journalists, actually, and the public. She can apologise as much as she wants. Just pay. Pay what you're owed. Pay the people. Cathy tried shifting the blame to her landlord. Turns out Alcorn's there too. Um, so where is John Dente? Where is the landlord? We popped in to see Cathy's landlord, John Dente, at his DreamWorks car garage. But when we turned up, the shutters came down. His staff told us John didn't want to talk about the issue. But he certainly wasn't there to meet me at 10 o'clock this morning, as planned. We didn't see Cathy at the Soak House at 10 a.m. either to try and clear up this mess. Breath coach Pedro was there, though. I'm here waiting. I took a day off, you know, losing my money to, <laughs> to get this sorted. Cathy says her troubled past has made her a target. People try and extort things. People mm. will write to me saying that I owe them money um, because of my previous profile with having money. Despite getting off to a rocky start... We're from Soak House Adelaide. Of course we have onsens every night before we go to sleep. If Cathy gets the Soak House back up and running, at least we know we're welcome. Well, Steve declined that offer and a little difficult now anyway as Cathy is behind bars on remand on charges unrelated to our story.